first published on ENS Europe the Danish Ministry of Energy, Utilities and Climate also unveiled proposals to phase out coal for electricity production by 2030. Under the proposals, the Danish government will aim to promote stronger competition among all energy technologies in order to achieve lower prices for consumers. The government plans to invest 15 billion Danish kroner, 2 billion euros, to implement its energy policy and 4.2 billion Danish kroner, 560 million euros, out of this will help to ensure the continued development of a number of renewable energy technologies, including wind power. The funds will be allocated during the period 2020 to 2024. The ministry set out plans to harmonize and simplify its subsidy system for renewable energy technologies. Denmark currently has 35 different types of subsidies and under new plans, these will reduce to between 4 and 6. The average level of direct support for subsidies is expected to go from around DKK 0.22 per kilowatt hours, 0 euros 0.029 per kilowatt hours, to DKK 0.10 per kilowatt hours, 0 euros 0.013 per kilowatt hours. The government has also proposed an ambitious green reform to relax energy taxes for the heating and electricity markets. Pernille Skipper, a political spokeswoman from eco-socialist party Red Green Alliance, criticized the planned levy. At a time where we urgently need to speed up the green transition, the draft strategy, as proposed by the Danish government, will allocate more money on reducing taxes than on building an energy system based on renewables. She also said the ambition from the government was not sufficient enough and made a promise that Red-Green Alliance would do their utmost to change this in the coming negotiations, so Denmark can regain its position as a true champion for combating climate change. First published on ENS Europe register now to enjoy more articles and free email bulletins. Sign up now already registered.